All right, now we have seen some incredible new features which are coming up on One UI 8.5. I have already posted some uh, videos about them. If you missed them, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And in today's video, I will be sharing some more interesting features and changes. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now, here is some new icons. Samsung's One UI 8.5 is going to bring some changes in the icon department. These new Samsung icons are now in 3D, which is quite interesting. Now we do get loads of uh, third party icon packs which can be installed on the Galaxy phones or any other Android phones but having a 3D icon pack uh, as a system default icons is going to be something interesting, some new change that is happening on One UI 8.5. Now we have already seen notification summaries feature on the iOS 26 where the phone is going to summarize the notifications that you receive in short sentences and you'll be able to understand what you have received without even opening the notifications. And a similar feature is expected to come to the One UI 8.5 as well. Samsung is expected to bring notification summaries. As you can see on the screenshots, it says your longer conversations can now be summarized to give you quick recaps. You can turn this on in settings. And in settings, you can see notification summaries. It says summarize long messages and group conversation to get quick recaps. Summaries use AI on your device, which may sometimes make mistakes. Your messages are never sent to Google. Now, if you look at the screenshot, it looks like it's a pixel centric feature. However, Samsung is expected to get this as well on One UI 8.5 most likely. So let's wait and see that. Now, whenever you get uh, tons of notifications, you don't really have to go through each of them. You will get a quick summary right there on your notification panel, which is going to be very useful. Next, here is some blur effect on the UI. This lock screen customization page shows the frosted glass background here, which is also looking pretty cool. And if Samsung incorporates this across the UI, it is going to be just perfect. Next, you can see this brand new screen recorder page here. The layout has changed. Now, all these record sound options are horizontally placed. And we get this area to record option now. We can record either full screen or partial screen. And we should be able to move this a square that you see here to select a portion of the screen, which is quite interesting. We will quickly and easily be able to record a portion of the screen on One UI 8.5. And the layout has also changed over here. And you can see this brand new digital well being page here. The gradient font looked great here. And we have got some changes in the layout as well. We've got total screen on time today shown in kind of a pie chart. And then we have got these quirkers below that where most used application categories are shown. And it looks very clean, simple and neat. And I hope to see this kind of a layout across the UI here. Now you can see the animations on One UI 8.5. The Sam on X has shared this particular video where you can see the animation looks pretty cool. they have got those new animations on the quick panel when you open them. The notification animation looks cool. When you press and hold on the brightness bar, you can see that vertical to horizontal movement, which also looks pretty simple and cool. App opening animation, recent apps, back gestures are all looking very nice on One UI 8.5. So looks like the animation will also improve on One UI 8.5 and it actually looks pretty nice on this particular video. Now here is someone who has shared a concept of quick panel on One UI 8.5. This looks a uh, frosted glass or let's call it liquid glass like the iOS 26. Let me know whether you would like to have something like this on your uh, Samsung phone. Of course it's going to be a copy of iOS 26 but uh, this is just a concept it looks like. Uh, but let me know whether you would like to have something like this on your phone. I'm fine with it as long as it looks good. It is a welcome change, but you let me know about this. But this is just a concept that you're seeing here on the screen. I hope we will see some changes on the quick panel because currently the quick panel uh, is not really exciting because the blur effect or the frosted glass effect that we are currently seeing on One UI 8 is not really that great. I would really like to see these effects a little more pronounced so that it will be visually pleasing. And we can also see this update installation page on the One UI 8. .5. It is still half baked. Uh, we do not have the banner on the top. It's just a gradient wallpaper that you're seeing, but it does show the gradient elements that we are going to get on One UI 8.5. Uh, but definitely Samsung is going to replace this with a new banner. And the details here are very simple and easy to understand and it is short, which is definitely a welcome change. Now, there is one more feature that I'd like to share with you guys. This is not specifically related to the One UI 8.5. This feature is expected to come to Samsung Find application. Android Authority says clues spotted in the recent version of the Samsung Find application suggest satellite based location sharing is on the way. Location updates would send every 15 minutes with one-time sharing as a fallback. The feature would mirror the satellite location sharing on Google's Find Hub. 
Now, this is going to be a very, very useful feature for some of you guys out there, not for everyone, especially people who hike or trek uh, when you are in the, in the locations where you do not have uh, the cellular connectivity or Wi-Fi network, you will definitely need this feature. If you get lost, then you will be able to send your location continuously, constantly, uh, every 15 minutes to whoever you want to share it. And this is coming to the Samsung Find application. Now, we already have location sharing on Samsung Find app. You will be able to share your location with your friends and family, which is already there, but that happens through cellular network or Wi-Fi network. You definitely need the connectivity there, but this new feature will make this location sharing work even when you do not have the cellular network or Wi-Fi. This is going to be satellite-based location sharing. So that's another interesting feature which is coming to the Galaxy 4. Next, we have got something more interesting here. One of the X users has shared these screenshots where you can see a new feature called Privacy Display. Now, this feature is showing up on One UI 8.5 and may remain exclusive to the Galaxy S26 series. And this feature could be uh, hardware-based as well. Here on the screenshot, it says, protect your privacy by turning on the Privacy Display anytime. You've got an Auto Privacy toggle automatically use private display when you use sensitive apps and when you are in crowded places there is some spelling error there and i do not really know whether this is really genuine screenshot or not but yeah this feature is expected on the s26 series so here's the screenshot which somebody has shared i really don't know whether this is going to be the exact feature page that you're going to see on the ui uh, we also have options like custom conditions maximum privacy toggle then we have got something called privacy triggers uh, you can enable public places, public places with lots of people such as elevators or public transportation. I think the gyroscope will come into play uh, that will detect whether you are in, uh, in a public transport or any transport for that matter or if you are in the elevator. And then we have got a few more toggles over here. So right now I'm not able to authenticate this particular information but uh, yeah this is leaked on X and I'm just sharing with you guys. Now these are some very interesting and useful features and changes coming on the One UI 8.5. Like I said, if you missed my previous videos, I have made dedicated videos about some major changes. Go ahead and check out the links in the description. I will be bringing more news about this, more information for you guys to stay updated with everything that's happening with One UI 8.5. So be sure to subscribe, give this video a like if you find this video useful. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Wallverse. Every day, almost every day, we, uh, you know, we update the application with brand new wallpapers so that you don't get bored. So go ahead. The link for the Volvo's wallpaper application is in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.